Hey everyone, we're back here on Bali and we're gonna start looking at some passes today for in half guard from Nogi. If you guys wanna be a dynamic passer, you need to understand like how to be more fluid in the position and being able to move from one side to the other. And I'm gonna show you guys some options to kind of start uh, navigating the half guard better to positions where people aren't good at playing at. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. <music> Hey everyone, we're back and we're looking at passing half guard. And I'm gonna start with a really simple half guard pass to kind of get you guys just comfortable in the position. And then we're gonna kind of look at some other ways we can move around into this position. Okay, so when I find myself in half guard, typically one of the first things I'm looking to do is pin my partner flat on his back. So I'm gonna start looking for underhooks. If I can get double underhooks, that's gonna be ideal. All right, from here, what I'm gonna to look to do is I can flare my elbows. It gives me a little bit wider sense of base and I'm gonna start walking to the left, okay? So as I walk to the left, that's gonna start grounding Aaron's bottom leg. I need that bottom leg flat to the mat. And from here, what I can do is start bringing my instep in so I can start pushing on the top of his knee. Now from here, it's easy to start driving my knee through the hole, turn my hips and slide out and move my way into side control. Okay, so again, when we're here in the half guard, I'm looking for those underhooks and I'm always gonna put my head to the left side of the underhook, okay? So if I have an underhook on the right side, I'm gonna look to put my head to the left. I have the near side underhook too, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So again, same idea here. I'm trying to walk to the left, grounding Aaron's leg. Watch my instep. My left leg is gonna flare in so I can bring that foot on top of Aaron's thigh. And I can push on Aaron's thigh with this leg to help me drive my leg through. Now from here, it's easy for me to turn my hip drive through with my hips and walk back to flat and air and out. Now look, maybe you're not that flexible and you're having a hard time pushing on the thigh. So if you guys get here and start pinning, it's okay to use your hand. Okay, so I can bring my hand down, drive my knee through and keep those underhooks. And now from here, I just slide out, walk back and start pinning my partner. All right, so start with this basic pass, and then we're gonna start looking at some different things that we can do in this position. All right, let's give it a shot. One, two.